name is Amelia, and I'm joined by my wrestle pal. Ah. Oh. And we're going to talk about Latino Heritage Month. That is the theme for the episode. Mm -hmm. um, is it October, though, or did we miss it? <laughs> no, so it's weird. It is September 15th, day before oh. my birthday, to October 15th, which, fun fact, is my mother's birthday. Interesting how they chose to make it that way. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Awesome. So. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Yeah. No. I don't know why it's not an, a month month. It's just yeah. four, four weeks. It's a month long. It's, it's yeah, a month it's, long. I don't, I don't know how that works. So. <laughs> well, I myself am Latina. You yourself are Latina. Yeah. We are of the Latinx. Mexican variety. Latinx. <laughs> <laughs> of the Mexican variety, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, there's there's actually a lot of wrestlers to talk about. I don't think I, I even like scratched the surface. So if you're watching this video, I made a list just kind of off the top of my head, a loosey goosey list. And I don't think I got everybody. There's a lot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's a modern time. It comes down to like, yeah. So we could talk about, yeah, like modern wrestlers, because, I mean, it's historically, there's, you know, the luchadors and stuff, and uh, it's still, that's like way too much to even get into. Yeah, I told you I went on that weird rabbit hole of history of Lucha Libre, <laughs> and I was like, this is interesting, but this isn't what I need. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where I was trying to go with this. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not mad of where I went, but that wasn't where I was going. It's like I took and a I like that we're... We're kind of in the same family. Like, mine isn't an Ed Eddie Guerrero shirt, but it's a take on an Eddie Guerrero shirt. Mm -hmm. I love that. But yours is an actual Eddie Guerrero shirt. Yes, I've had this since I was 14, 15. Woohoo, you baby Al. Baby Al. Yeah, 2004. Just five when this came out, whenever that came out. Dang. Well, Cardi is like Afro Latina, so it works. She counts, it works. She can. <laughs> it was, it was she's, not, she's, not Eddie, she's not Eddie Guerrero. She's no Eddie Guerrero. We'll get to him later. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, he's everywhere. Look at your, look at your screen. You're like surrounded by Eddie. <laughs> if you don't know, um, I really like Eddie. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. You um. Know. So like, yeah. So uh, yeah, this is what this episode is about. I'm very excited because, uh. There was a wrestler that I was like, oh, thanks for representing, you know. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of cool. Representation is important. And seeing, being able to see someone like you on screen doing, like, really cool things, but also getting, like, a lot of respect from their peers uh, is always nice to see and it's inspiring. And it's fun. Yeah. I think, like, it's fun, like, or interesting because we're, like, you know, a lot of our favorites are not. Mexican so when you see them like yeah that's what it was you're, or like mm -hmm. you know somebody you're like oh yeah you you look like me or you could do it too or you know yeah or even just people who uh looked at Mexican culture and were like that's so cool like um like listen gubernables like they went to you know oh, Mexico yeah. went to Mexico was like this shit is tight I'm gonna be in Los Ingobernables <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> but took it back to Japan and like made yeah. the whole thing or like Chris Jericho being like Corazon de Leon, you know, like yeah. a heartthrob in Mexico. And, he um, was. <laughs> yeah. And that's like hearing Japanese wrestlers just like falling in love with Mexican women. <laughs> oh my goodness. Or, you know, like Lita, she just flew herself down to Mexico. Yeah. And or I think Sarah for a Stock, too. Sarah Stock, like, was a luchadora, yeah. basically. I think people thought Lita was Mexican because <laughs> when she came in and could speak Spanish, I think for half yeah. a second, I was like, oh, no, she just taught herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She taught herself. She had to kind of learn. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> That's how come she knew how to spell my name but didn't ask me how to, qu didn't question it. And I was like, <laughs> okay. oh, thanks, girl. Oh, you know Fresno? <laughs> <laughs> never forget never forget never forget i'm telling you i went down that memory lane and i was like oh Ooh. I was, it was such a wonderful time we we had such a good time you <laughs> cried in the bathroom afterwards like, oh. it's bad. yeah it's bad. i can't wait i can't wait to go back to that that's gonna be great 
one day we'll we'll be together me and you <laughs> yeah and we'll go to shows and watch wrestlers again and meet them again but we are here now yes. to talk about latina heritage month latina yes. heritage month and there's so many wrestlers right now like just right now right now really the best in the world like they are the best in the world right now mm -hmm. i'm thinking like i'm thinking that that tag team you know who who i'm thinking who are you thinking oh i'm thinking that tag team you know penta and ray oh them lucha bros they're pretty much the best they're pretty much the best. pretty much when i asked everybody like all of our friends i'm like all right who should we talk about they're like uh lucha bros <laughs> it's like got you i got you <laughs> but also i mean i was gonna say lex but um proud and powerful yeah it's in their Which, name <laughs> proud and powerful but also do you remember that first promo for proud and powerful and how powerful it was and how proud it made you and yes. then like them to be heels and it's like but i don't like racism and i don't like like the things that they're like fighting against but they're the bad guys? I don't understand. Like, the, the PSA offer that was really strange. Yeah, they were just like, weren't they just like, if you're gay, if you're straight, we don't care. And it was like, Yeah, we accept everybody. We defend everybody. And then it was like, but they're the bad guys. <laughs> you know, like I was so hang inspired. Out with <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was so, in, like, I loved that promo. That was pre, what was it? The big, uh, like a big pay-per-view or something. Uh, was it? Was it the pay per view or was it um was it dynamite? Like, oh, it might yeah, it was yeah. right pre just right before dynamite was gonna premiere. They had this amazing promo. I was like, wow, so that that is an awesome promo. And then it's like for them to just be the villain. They're the heels. <laughs> like, uh, okay, well I believe in that message. <laughs> weird, oh, <that's> so weird. <laughs> that was but, a weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was really weird. Very confusing. Um, but, a lot, but a lot of Latinx people are in the spotlight right now in your top spot. Like Zelina Vega yeah. and Asuka. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Which you know she must be like on cloud nine to be there oh, yeah. right now. Because Zelina is just a big fan. Like she's like she's like a Bailey. Like just a huge fan of wrestling. She's or just like really of like kind of like she's into gaming and stuff like that yeah. too so she must just be like having a good old time she deserves married it. to alistair black with a bunch of cats like she's hey, living, her best life. living everyone's best life for us we, we can I live mean, seriously through her with her cat that life is, is that that is the dream though right you marry <laughs> you marry your wrestler husband and get a bunch of cats right and then you <laughs> like, natalia did it Natalia like, that's, did it. that's the dream and then you're just like really talented and like couldn't go with always it. Do, yeah. <laughs> people just uh yeah that's the thing that's that's my life goal <laughs> <laughs> so with so that like, being said like i know we've kind of been all over the place but um yeah like I, I, there's just yeah like you said there's just they're like right on the top right now getting like those main storylines and boom front and center what is your favorite thing going on right now for, for like Ooh. any kind of, you watch a lot more than I do. And you're the one who said Angel Garza and um, they oh. had that thing going and they're like cousin that cousins. Was that yeah. was great. I didn't really get to catch up with that, but it. it I bet he got injured the other day. Oh no. Yeah. He hurt his knee at Clash of Champions. They had that, ta that tag match. Yeah. So I guess Andrade solo now he kicked Selena to the curb, which is rude because she brought you here. Yeah rude yeah he had no motivation she was like get out there and you better win you got to believe in yourself and he was like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he was nxt champion okay <laughs> oh, oh boy and nxt come on uh you have all the you have our cruiserweight champion santos escobar questionable name. oh I, yeah <laughs> i didn't know i haven't honestly man this is terrible but i have not been keeping up with anything I, i'll occasionally watch dynamite because we have it downstairs on like hulu live i'm like oh shoot i'm home i could watch it let me turn it on and then you know after everything else i haven't been able to catch up with mm. so our cruiser champion yes interesting El hijo de fantasma aka santos escobar Honestly, like the whole yeah, I know it's a questionable <laughs> name, yeah. But I like I like it. Like I'm not I'm not um 
I don't think it's not it's bad. No, it's I like it. Kind of, I like that they wear nice suits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's some good suits. They're so classy. They, why can't they be classy? Yeah. I like it. I like that a lot. Um, what else do I like? No, I'm mad at Andrade. Zelina's killing it. Ooh. Her match with yeah. Oscar was so good. Really? I would imagine. Yeah. I didn't see it. Clash of Champions? So bad. <laughs> really good show. You should watch it. Really good okay. show. Okay. 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 Worth, worth uh, going and back and watching. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Um, uh, ba- Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> uh, that's the later times. I got a whole lot to say about Bailey. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> like a whole segment. <laughs> but like, I wrote like, and even like when I was like looking this up because I was trying to research and be a better person. Did you know? <laughs> fun fact that Caitlin's mom, you remember Caitlin? Yeah. She, her mom's Mexican, I believe. She is a, what? yes, yes, I learned that. I learned, uh, I learned Candace Michelle is Costa Rican. Interesting. Our boy, Peter Avalon, Cuban. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know because when they had the whole, because I, yeah, the whole, uh, rat, like, I guess we got to talk about it. <laughs> There was definitely some people where people were like, Cody. Cody. Peter. Cody's but really they were like on there. Cody's holding on to that Cuban. He really is. At least he is, like, he actually does have Cuban (laughs) ancestry. uh, He's not pulling a Jeb Bush where he just changed his, you know, information (laughs) to match. He's like, he really, really is in his bloodline. I'm like, what? Where did he lose that? Wait, did he write that in? (laughs) That doesn't work that way. (laughs) I did a double take on that, too. Yeah, it was funny. I was like, what's that? Cody? Oh, okay, sure. I'll take it, I guess. I can say so. <laughs> yeah, just like a whole, yeah, a whole list of people that I was like, what? But. And any, any big, like, what is the, what was the, big, was it Caitlin that was like the biggest, like, what? I think I probably was. Yeah. Because you wouldn't have thought, yeah. I mean, that's I was, the thing about, like, uh, being Latino, from Texas. Latino or Latina. It, yeah, yeah. There's a good chance you might be right. Yeah, but they they we come in all different shapes and colors, like everybody else. Redheads, yeah. long, know, curly, curly hair, dark skin. I mean, we're light and dark. We're every color, we're all over the place. Color. Every color, colonizers, <laughs> colonizers <laughs> everywhere. So they went south. Spaniards. They went north. Dang <laughs> <laughs> Spaniards. Oh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> anyway, back to Latina heritage, because it's a but, heritage, you know. But it produced so many great wrestlers. Right. Exactly. But like as a kid, we only had a few. Mm-hmm. We had to grab onto and hold. As an American, yeah, as an American yes. child watching like USA Network um, yes. or TNT. Was it TNT? Yes. Yeah. TNT. Uh, your representation, like, well, T- okay, WCW was bringing in the Luchadors, like, they were bringing in a Ray and a Seiko Thief, and they were bringing in Super Crazy, too, they had, right? They had a lot, yeah, they had a they lot. They had their, 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 their Luchadors, or their streamer-type wrestlers, or whatever, um, the High Flyers. I didn't watch WCW. Oh. I was very anti-WCW as a child. Wow. My dad, this is a big thing in my house. My dad so was WWE and I was fully WWE. Not to change the subject too much, but there was like a whole argument because somebody said something about uh, Degeneration X being better than the Wolf Pack or whatever, or yeah. uh, NWO. And they, yeah. Or like somebody was like, NWO is way better. And the, so there's like a whole argument, but ultimately it comes down to like, what were you watching though? Because if you weren't watching WCW, naturally you think Degeneration X is the best. So, okay, so you were kind of, that's where you were getting your, 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 you mm-hmm. uh, know, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. your, your oh, oh. when I started watching, oh. it's, two, it's 2000, it's, it's peak, it's peak mullet Eddie, which is what this action figure oh. is. That's mullet, uh, anyone's ever grown. It is, it's yeah. real. It was bouncy. Oh, it's cool. perfect. 
<laughs> Brian Feldman Jr.'s current mullet is fantastic, but it's not Eddie level. <laughs> it is. It's his is more like rocker though. Like Eddie's yeah. is just a natural like it villain type. Like, oh, like good. when he went straight down. I know we're gonna get it because we, we can't. We can't just. It. We're gonna but get anyway, into because. But I have like uh, Eddie, package. who was like, am I? This is. I'm gonna tell the story. I guess I'll do it now. But when I start watching wrestling, I'd be in the like the living room or whatever, and my mom would be like. I hate that Eddie Guerrero. I'm like, why? And she's like, he's a disgrace to our us Mexicans. She's like, he's such a stereotype. Like, she's like, look it up. She's like, what's an essay and all this. She's like, I don't like him. She's what like, no. I mean, yeah. She's like, and this mama. Like, yeah. She's like, look at him. What's his white girlfriend? And I'm like, mom, like it's a show. I, I mean, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Yeah, so that was like the first thing, and she was like, "No, it's bad." <laughs> so that's what I, I mean, had. Light tea, light tea, and steel. And then there was they, the Mexico. They had great segments. Mexico. Okay, yes, because I love Super Crazy. Super yes. Crazy was like up there. I was like, man, Super Crazy, badass. Why is he like? Because he can't really speak English and stuff. You that's know. Their problem. Yes. Yeah. You know, and they took it, but they had lawnmowers, and they still roughed it, and that was fun. I remember when they would come out. Harley, they came out in lawnmowers. That was great. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> we've seen I, a this lot. Is a, it's, yeah, we've seen a lot. <laughs> there's, there, there's some craziness. They had, well, and now you have Lucha House Party, where they have their piñatas and stuff like yeah. that. So they have the candy. progression. I, there yeah. was the LWO too. There was the LWO. Mm, Latino World Order. But then there, yeah, and then there was Ray. Ray came up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing Ray at a house show before he debuted, like maybe a month or two before. What? Yeah. It was like there's, cool. I think when they started airing promos, so they had him on the road, I guess, just to, you know, mm -hmm. get used to it, I guess. So this was 2002 or whatever. And I was like, oh, look, look at all the next screen guy. Because I was like, didn't watch WCW. <laughs> I was like, my dad's like, hey, that's Ray Mysterio. <laughs> They're like, oh, like, whatever, dad, you don't know. <laughs> okay, cool. I like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so is that it? You what I'm saying too. is there wasn't a, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was a weird time where if there were always stereotypes too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yes. So I, think I mean, that's now, just. That's hard to, that's an old, ha yeah, that's a hard habit <laughs> to pick for the WWE. They don't really know how to do that. Yeah. But I think now you have a lot, like if I was a kid, I'd be like, wow, all these people that look like me and my cousins mm -hmm. and family and friends and be like, that's pretty, you know, look at me. You could pick yeah. somebody, you look like me or you remind me of me. I was very, I was a lot older uh, when I realized that. Scott Hall was not <laughs> Latin in any way. I was like, wait a minute. Like, as a, as a child, because I watched during that time. Yeah. Razor Ramon was like, I thought he was bad. I thought he was scary. Like, for real, like a real bad guy. Like, really? a real bad guy. He was the bad guy. He was the bad guy. So I was like, dang, he's scary, but he's cool. And then like uh like cool oh wow he's like he knows probably no Spanish and everything <laughs> and then uh like as an adult I was like wait he's not he's not Latin what right? it was really a shocker to me because I bought into it so hard as a kid I thought that's who he was that's real From Miami that's, you know <laughs> that's like the white chicks you're you're not white. <laughs> like that was what happened to you yeah it, it, they, they, it really worked but I mean there was still like Tito Santana from that era too right mm -hmm. so there was like Latino real Latino representation of some sort some um, sort <laughs> <That one. laughs> yeah. you fooled me once WWE won't fool me again <laughs> actually that's not true because I was so convinced that Drew McIntyre's uh, accent was fake <laughs> and somebody else's accent and I was like that's not a real accent I'm like that's fake <laughs> I don't believe it anymore <laughs> <laughs> it's older was, it, was it Russo did you think he had a fake accent I think it was it was an Irish wrestler because Drew Famous? is Scottish no 
No, yeah, it wasn't Seamus. It, yeah, actually, it might have been Seamus. Because when I first saw them, I was like, they don't, that was their accent. Like, they're not going to fool me again, okay? They're not really Irish or Scottish. Get out of here. Because <laughs> I wouldn't have put it past, like, WWE. They're like, I don't want you to have an accent, you know? Well, because you were saying fella, and you thought, like, nah, people wouldn't actually say fella. People don't really say that. Get out of here. <laughs> it's like Chicagoans, like, really loving deep dish pizza. They don't even like it. But, yeah. <laughs> so, like, my, my first um, impression of someone who's, like, Hispanic or Latin uh, was Ray Ray. <laughs> Nobody wasn't really. really uh, yeah. that, that's the 90s. <laughs> yeah, that is. It really is. But then, like, Melina came out. Okay, because I was started. Okay, I started caring about women's wrestling when Trish and um, and Lita were going at it. And even when Trish was just when Lita was out and injured, and Trish yeah. was just going, you know, and like her matches were great and she was fun to watch. And I was like, I cared about them. Mm-hmm. And like when they had time, even if it was kind of corny or cheesy, it was like, oh yes, we're gonna have a match. And then. Um, and then Melina, like, came in and was like, whoa. I remember that. Whoa. With her little furry boots that she would do I, splits. I, oh. remember, I remember so much when Melina came out, and I was just like, just about this time, 2005. So I'm like 15, 16. And I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, was really yeah. impressed by her because she was not, like, because we had, like, Gail Kim coming in around that time, too, right? This is, like, that era of these women who are, like, high flyers, but they kind of weren't letting them be. But yeah, it was, they were capable. They're fully capable of holding, like, It was a lot matches. of models. It was still, like, right at the beginning of Diva Search, so it was still a... Yeah. There was the wrestler girls, and then the model girls, and, like, mm-hmm. the ones that were trying. <coughs> you know, you had, you had Maria yeah. and everybody. Because you did you have... have you did... Not, not, and not judging, because everyone does it for their own reasons, but there were definitely individuals who were there just for a boob job. Like, I want to get a free boob job. Hey, I'm going to go to WWE. They're going to let me get my implants, you know? Like, hey, uh, I'm going to be on TV. Real. Yeah, They're going to get TV. Like, a whole bunch of money to do this. Okay, whatever. I don't I know. I might even doing. end up in Playboy. Like, these are things that, those are actual goals for people, which is not shaming them. That's what they wanted, you know, that that was their goal but not to necessarily be the best wrestler or anything or to like be women's champion. Although if you are women's champion, you're more likely to be seen and obviously sold more copies of your Playboy cover. So, um, but that's where, where it was like a half and half because then you would see Gail Kim and then you'd see Melina and they would do this crazy things. And you're like, what? Because what, who's only, who's doing Rana's? It was like Lita who's the only one doing a Rana on somebody. And that was it. And then you you had Trish trying to, like, she was doing some things, too. Like, she was getting more acrobatic. And and then, boom, these, like, luchadoras came in. Because they were, like, they they went to Mexico to go train so they could be those type of wrestlers. Yeah, I just remember seeing Melina and being, like, and they're, like, she's from L.A. And I was, like, she's from California. Me, too. She's Mexican, too. Like, (laughs) at 15, I was, like, she's pretty. Oh, my God. Like, yeah and she was like with your dude your favorite dude oh my god Eminem I love them so much Eminem yeah Eminem yes it was a good time Nitro Morrison Mm -hmm. oh oh so good I loved it I loved them so much they were so So, fun and also I just love anything flashy so it did it that helped (laughs) <laughs> yes and they did a really good job of it they did and a fun first, job their first feud is with Rey Mysterio and Eddie I believe or Eddie and or Rey at least and somebody else because they mm. interrupted with a Carlitos Cabana oh we didn't talk about Carlito uh, oh man no you're right <laughs> so I'm a Best famous, the famous people who don't want to be cool famous wrestling family the Colognes the, the Colognes yeah that's right Oh, man. Well, that's like the other coast. That's the other that's side of the Puerto country. They're Puerto yeah. Rican. They're Puerto still, Rican. Part. <laughs> still part of the Latino heritage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You were, were you, in, you got her autograph, right? I've met Melina twice. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> I only met her one time. I met her twice. Okay, tell me about the two times you met Melina. <laughs> 
one time I met her, I'm trying to see if I can find a picture, so if I look distracted. Um, I met her with Morrison when he was still Johnny Nitro. Uh, it was literally the, like, uh, so she won the Raw Women's title for Mickey in Bakersfield in was 2007 so it's like February 2007 and then like she they came and did a signing that Friday so they for, for cause they were gonna do they were gonna do raw Monday so they did an autograph they, they did all their media on Friday for whatever reason that time yeah so autograph signing at Save Mart Center <laughs> and my dad took me. that was when they were together um yeah Melina uh-huh. and oh okay and this was the beginning of that feud with Ashley over the Playboy thing. Oh, so, okay. like, it was like yeah. they still talk. It was like the beginning of my maybe it was MySpace. So it was like the beginning of social media feuds. Oh, okay. I think I remember her being like talking trash, to, you know, about like Ashley being in Playboy or you know. And I remember telling her something about was like something about Ashley's Playboy thing, like trying to like over like take her spotlight or something. Are you were you instigating? I was. Of course they did. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, yeah. But she was like so sweet. And oh, let me see if I can oh, find so it. Oh, that's so cool. So it was like, it was five days after she won the title. Um, and she let me hold the belt. <gasps> oh, I I think you know it. I don't know if and, I've ever seen this picture. Have you shown this to me before? And I've I, had the worst I, memory I, ever. So I put it on Instagram. I'm trying to find it. Um, this is a terrible video, but... <laughs> Uh, there, there it is. So, yay! This picture. I'll hold it up to the screen. There oh, we. I have seen this. You <laughs> see. <laughs> okay, yeah. Dang. I have that autograph somewhere around my house. But yeah, she, I, she let me hold the title because I was like, I don't know. I think That's I was. So cool. I just remember like gushing and being like. <gasps> oh my god you're so pretty like I want to be just like you so and oh my god I want to be a wrestler like you and I was like I don't know if I asked or if she told me but somehow I ended up holding the belt and I remember holding it and being like oh my god oh my god <laughs> 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 I'm holding the women's title oh my god that's so cool <laughs> like I was freaking Dang. out and it was like oh this is heavier than I thought <laughs> like that's so cool. And then the second time I met her was 2008 or nine. Mm. She was doing a promo for SmackDown. And again, I went with my dad. So I had to be 2008. I was like 20. So then I met her again. And they weren't doing pictures because it was so, like, the line was so long. With that time. Yeah. So it was like, we don't want to get pictures of them. Uh, and I just went up to her and I was, I don't even, again, I don't know what I said because I blacked out, but I was just like, you're my favorite yeah. and you're my inspiration and blah, blah, blah. Like, just some cheesy That's thing. That's so cool. Yeah. Like, I don't know if you remember me. We met before. Right? And I was just like, she was just so sweet. And I was just like, I remember her just like looking at me she and I was, was talking really to her sweet. and I was like. <laughs> like, she's actually making eye contact yeah. with me. Yeah. yeah. And I was so like cool. freaking out. Yeah. Was this at Safe Heart Center again? Yeah. I wonder if that's the one I went to then. This is, this is a picture of Melina. Oh, it was, on the, it was inside. It was not outside, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Then, yeah, that's the one I went to, too. Yeah, the, the Her and Nitro Morrison one was outside, which was okay. a weird choice for February. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a weird choice. <laughs> but, yeah, Melina, I was just like, oh, I, I could probably wrestle I could probably be in wrestling if there's another Mexican person because I think <laughs> when I was a kid I told my mom I was like I want to be the first Mexican wrestler because how oh many gosh. I was like I want to be the yeah. first Mexican diva and she's like she, I saw Melina and she was like oh there goes your dream I was like it's okay <laughs> <laughs> mom <laughs> of course I'm not the first but I didn't well, have any so I saw Melina. I know it, yeah <laughs> Exactly. Oh, AJ, too. And then I saw AJ. <laughs> AJ. AJ is a lot later, but she had met Lita and cried, and she's of, uh, is it Cuban? No, Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah, of yeah. Puerto Rican descent. 
And yeah, she we can't for, we can't let her be erased because I feel like never. she is erased. Never. She really is erased from like WWE. There's never any packages that she's ever in. I mean, they really full on erased her, which is unfair because mm-hmm. she did a really good job at what she was doing. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When AJ popped up, I was mid twenties. How was it? Was yeah, 2011, 12. What was that? Mm-hmm. So yeah, and I was just like, oh. Oh, I don't have, I can't, I could be that. I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> she was so tiny. I was like, she's small like, like me. Tiny like, human being. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, we're kind of nothing. Nerdy, this tiny like, person. Oh, she doesn't have to be like sexy. I, I can do that. <laughs> she was part of a search though too, right? Like a, con- she a contest? Was, no, she was signed to no. She was signed to FCW. She was in FCW, and then they did the oh, okay. all female NXT when it was like that competition. Right. Thing. Okay. Okay. Kind I of like you. it, but they also wrestled. Yeah. So they did. So it was with Naomi and Caitlyn. Uh, mm-hmm. I forget who else was on that one, but yeah, yeah. It was all. It was all. And she all had female. her own thing. Yeah, and that, that's right when it spun off all the rails, and then they had all those weird storylines, but it was because nobody was paying attention to the show. Yeah. Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's where and yeah. Then, that's- I mean, and then there's the Bellas too. I'm, there's a lot of well, okay. There's like quite a few women Latina wrestlers too, because the Bellas were uh, are yeah. half as well. Mexican, um, yeah. I mean, that's when they first cool. debuted, I was stoked about it. I was like, "What too?" Right? <laughs> and they're Mexican. That's cool. They probably and they have, have like. Sorry, what were you saying? No, go ahead. I was going to say, that's probably, like, that's an iconic, like, debut. Yeah. (laughs) They debuted, and there was, like, there's two of them, and they both pop out, and you're, like, wait, what? Uh And they have their, like, little, their Their little little thing. Little bell bottoms. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I do. The (laughs) flat, yep. I, I didn't, I didn't dislike them. Uh, at at, first yeah at first um I don't know I just never I'm not a Bella's person I know but I also appreciate that they do represent like this big part of drawing in women viewers um Mm -hmm. and so that's cool I think that's that's definitely really cool because there would be some people who would have never started watching wrestling if it wasn't for them so you know they they deserve yeah Yeah. and so they do deserve you know some kind of props but I really didn't like that they want to take credit for like this whole revolution of women it's like no yeah I mean you might be a part of why things had to change you know um but uh, you can't take credit for it for that right but that's only that's my only gripe with that you know (laughs) nothing but respect for the hustle that they had to to do to get where they are they work so (laughs) yeah yeah they 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 do they got a lot of businesses I I want some of those I just want like a couple of businesses. Bellas have like eight hundred. <laughs> can I have? <laughs> I can, if you want to just get rid of one of those, get rid of one. <laughs> Take one but, off your hand. <laughs> and that's just, and those are just the ladies. Um, I imagine but like, like, but like the, there's like I know, <laughs> and she's like, like a little baddie. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, love her so much. I do too. I love her hair. <gasps> I know. It's so curly. Good hair. Good hair. Even Good in hair. that Florida heat. Yeah, right? Making it work. Um like, they have Eva Leaf, they have Diamante Eve. over in AEW. Vicky, we'll get to later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> like Vicky or was she still? She is. I love it. Still out there. <laughs> Eve, Eve Torres. Mm-hmm. Those are some ladies. Like, I love Eve. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, lie. I don't. I don't dislike Eve. Uh, I don't really have much to gripe about. I just wasn't like that big of a fan. Her. her I don't know. Weird. Her what? Remember when she would twerk? <laughs> yes. <It> was- <laughs> I, oh, she broke, um, no, she broke Zack Ryder's heart. No, I'll never That's forget that. That um, was a WrestleMania moment. <laughs> Poor Zack Ryder. Picked him, 
Oh, his, his wheelchair. No, it is wheelchair. So mean. They're so mean to him. I, I'm sorry. Unforgivable. I, that was his face. He did such a good job playing on that too. It's like, oh, the hurt yeah. in his face. That was a really good storyline. I love that. Was. I did Perfect. enjoy that very much. That's, that was great. Um, <laughs> and then now we have Bailey. This leads me to Bailey. Oh man. <laughs> Bailey. Bailey is important. Bailey Bailey is important to me in the sense that, like, and when NXT was starting to air, you had Sasha, who was like, oh, her and Charlotte were doing their thing, being sassy bitches, you know, and then Becky doing her Irish thing. (laughs) A jig! Never forget! Yeah! And the the thing that was so endearing was, like, you, you could really feel the genuine fandom that Bailey had for being there like it was so <laughs> real I love her me too so and she much. was a magical girl my first impression was like oh, they have a magical girl now you know like that she had a little ponytail oh. the bow and <sighs> she tassels. had her macho man tassels and it was yeah. colorful she was bright and fun and like I mean when I was thinking about like designing for wrestlers like I wish there was one that was like fun like not over sexualized just having like you know fun like fun kawaii and and that that was what she brought and I was like oh my god she exists she's real and she's like a kid <laughs> yes yeah. Do you, uh, the moment I found out she was Mexican I was like oh, she's one of us <laughs> I, I was I always say I'm Bailey if, you know, I would have uh, tried hard enough. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, Bailey is me if I, if it, you know, tried, if I worked out. <laughs> yeah. But, and she's just really uh, good, too. I love her. Bailey is literally me. Bailey, always, if you Bailey, see Bailey, okay. I mean, if you just followed her from the beginning in NXT, you, then you know why she's important, like why you you care about her, and and why you're gonna boo her as a villain now. Like, yeah, oh. Bailey's bad now. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> boo you, Bailey. Boo you. So good. Even when my coworker, who just casually watches because her husband watches, um, was like, I was like, what do you think about Bailey being like a bad man? She's like, oh, I love it, and I'm like, oh, Bailey, you're doing a good job. That's good. She's so like, good. she's so. Oh. She's so annoying and ah, oh, she's the worst. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> she in her mind, she's still the role model. That's oh, it's so good. We, just Bailey's whole story, like even with like um Dusty Rhodes encouraging her to just be herself. Um, and yeah, keep the ponytail. Don't try to be something you're not, you know. This is who you are. You're just you're this is who you are. Like be be yourself on the loving and yeah. It, it just, it was fun to see her, you know, she had gotten injured, so, oh, man, the, her storyline, it just, NXT is just so good, I'm gonna get emotional, because it was, I cared so much that. about her success. Uh, yeah, and then Sasha and her just had, like, insane chemistry. Uh, that's Sasha's so devotion to being the heel, like, she would not even break character, even when everyone was, like, telling her how good she was, she's still, like, throwing kids headbands off their heads I mean oh, man. that uh, whole that was such a good time to be a fan god, I remember that oh my god <laughs> yeah and then like Bailey. you know Bailey Bailey having to climb the ladder she's got to take on Becky she's Bailey, got to take on Bailey yeah the forgotten one she's always been like eh let's eh. just look at these ones so Bailey's had to be like no I'm also a four horseman four there's I'm, four. I'm here. I'm the four I'm here I'm worthy not exactly. her frustration and not oh, I love her so much. <laughs> I She's just feel myself, and, I, and we're adult women who care like that. I am a grown I'm literally I'm a grown ass age. person. I am a few months younger than Bailey. I so I feel I can see myself in Bailey, okay? She wrote papers in high school about wanting to be a wrestler. Everybody knew that she liked wrestling. <laughs> me <laughs> identity <laughs> my whole like as a person has always been oh yeah Al she watches wrestling she likes yeah. that but it's always you're the like you know tough times where people did not watch wrestling 
Yeah. I was watching wrestling. People were like, they're like, just like, you want, you really watch like, that? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, no. Aren't you too old? No. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I watch wrestling. It's always, oh, yeah, I watched The Rock. And I'm like, it's, yeah, there's more than that. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's still going. Right. <laughs> So, like, I yeah. just see myself and Bailey and, like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. And, like, imagine uh, how many other kids see themselves if I was in like, here, too. If, if I was, like, 11, when I, like, when I started watching wrestling and I saw Bailey, I would have just lost my shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at, um, what's her name? Um, the little girl from NXT. She's not a little girl Izzy. anymore. She's, like, a... Izzy, Izzy. yeah! Izzy's There's, just, like in love with Bailey. There's that one, she's in NXT, Indy, Indy Hartwell. Mm -hmm. She started training because of Bailey and Sasha's takeover match. She's like, she's a baby. Yeah, that's... How many people are going to come out, like, just like, this is why, this is why I do this. Like, Mm -hmm. put me in the retirement home, I feel old, but... (laughs) (laughs) I know, I know. It's kind of crazy. But it's so cool, just like, that these people can impact a whole bunch of other people and mm-hmm. like I love that that's happening like you get yeah. to have that representation now that yeah. like I didn't have as a kid where it was just a bunch of blonde white girls and I'm like they're pretty but I, I could never look like that yeah <laughs> and, and and still a struggle to be a fan of those wrestlers and then um see that they're getting overlooked because someone is more of the model that they are they think is better for television. Um, and then it's even harder when that, that blonde-eyed, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl is such a good wrestler like Alexa. It's like, oh, they're never going to get ahead. This person is too much. She can God, wrestle so- too. Ah. <laughs> oh man, I'll never be that. You. Yeah, I would get so discouraged and I'd be like, well, it's just going to be Alexa again. They're going to give it back to Alexa. Alexa's going to take it again. And then the arguments are like, well, because she's just that good. And it's like, everyone's good right now. Let's be real. Yes. It's because she's better than them. That's why. I'm like, no. <laughs> I refuse to believe that. Maybe I'm just being biased. But. <laughs> You know, but I w- I would rather see you, Bailey. Um, than... But I, you know, now we have a lot of not cookie cutter girls. Mm-hmm. All of our champions are not a Trish, and that's not a bad thing on Trish. Not a bad thing, no, no. Uh, you know, all your major but, title holders are, you know, different. You have Asuka yeah. and Bailey, and you have Io. Like, you know, everyone is different, and that's so cool. Mm-hmm. Like. Even if you're, and you've been like, like I said, with your, your men, like you have your cruiserweight champion, you know, like everyone's different. Yeah. You're the Scottish world champion. You know, you have your Samoan universal champion. Oh, man. No, Robin Reigns. I just, for, oh, man, his cousin, no. <laughs> oof. Yeah, oof. Ooh. But... But anyways. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, 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 coming circling back, Repre- so, yeah, there's just so many different, yeah, yeah. Uh, forms of represent. Even in AEW, like you know, um, AEW. I love that they're bringing in Thunder Rosa. Uh, mm-hmm. She's just she's eye catching. Like you want to watch her. She's mm-hmm. fun. Eddie Kingston at, with with the Lucha Bros. I like, know. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh my god, don't get me started on the though. Don't get me I wanna get you started. I wanna get you started. I love them so much. I just feel like they're I mean and it it probably has a lot to do with their travel and being able to like wrestle here and wrestle there and I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. But if you're gonna be like, Oh well this this team is the best in the world, I'm like obviously not. They cannot do half of the things that the Lucha Bros can do. No, it's just I don't buy it because we already know they're just they're not human. They're like they're not human. Uh, no fear, man. No fear. They really don't. And you know what? Okay, and this is why I love uh <laughs> getting to no fear. When you like okay, when I was watching ACW in like two thousand early two thousands, because I didn't watch it when it was airing. I was watching it right. later. And like on the DVDs and stuff. The thing that really like 
took me with super crazy was his just like trust it was complete and total trust in who he was working with all the time and that Mm -hmm. was like you know little guido and who else um uh i'm trying i'm missing all the names (laughs) but like when they would have like the international oh tajiri and when they would have the international three-way dances those were so great and uh, super well they all did have trust with each other but he would literally just run up onto the balcony and flip right off without even looking behind him to see if they were there like that was crazy to me he just that's why he's super crazy (laughs) true (laughs) yeah but yeah when he went to wwe i was like i love this guy i love him so much so uh, and and that goes the same thing with like penta and ray they're just they're really fearless they really just go up and trust that it's going to happen and sometimes Mm -hmm. it doesn't sometimes they slip off the rope you know botches are going to happen you can't it's just natural for that to happen yeah. but more often than not they're so successful and they're just going do 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 and i don't i, I don't know how you do how he like flips his little legs in the ring and then on the ropes and then just goes whoop and i'm like how do 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 how how i mean he's not the only one who could do that i'm talking about ray yeah there's a lot of um Ray Phoenix, there's a lot of wrestlers who can definitely do that. They're just so, you know, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just because I'm partial. I think they're the best in the world. It was Ray that was on the, uh, the Vice one, right? The wrestlers, he was on that one where they're doing um, like Lucha. I think he was. They were talking he? about him traveling from Mexico. And she, I think it's actually like the beginning of I don't know if Lucha. I saw that one. I don't, I don't oh, know if good. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, man, we're leaving out Conan. Oh, man. I knew I missed one. He's not on my list. The Conan did I, would, how did I do this? Yeah, he's pretty much like the Hulk Hogan of Mexico. Or I'll, he really is. Yeah, he really is. Like he's revered and oh man, yeah, you're yeah. How Who else? I, we're we're leaving out yeah, you know what? Because it's more like Luchador, we're leaving out a lot of really important people like Conan and um what's his name? The uh the drag he was like he has a beautiful daughter. What's his name? Ah Robbie would know. Um curly hair oh look like oh my god you, you know what i'm talking about right gosh it's right on the tip of my tongue his face yeah. is in my head like yeah he's kind of like a oh gosh i can't even compare it because he has like the black curly hair oh Somebody shoot said, hot hoobie. Dude, oh, hoobie. oh there's just too many yeah there's really important wrestlers that we're, we're forgetting forget a lot of people <laughs> I that's that's just how he great was commentating he was con- he was but the, to bring it back to the other guy he was a commentator for uh lucha underground too i can't mm. believe i can't remember his name mm. but you know who i'm talking about you know who i'm yes. talking about yes oh my god somebody's gonna get so mad at us yeah i'm so sorry i know that's all right <laughs> i'll take it i don't care i'm <laughs> terrible with names and remembering things but they come back to me and like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i remember like when this is all done like ah we're gonna text yeah. him later. Yeah. La <laughs> Oh my God. I well yeah. I can't believe I didn't start with that because I was like, I was asking Otis. I go, Hey, we're gonna do a a Latinx show. Who's your favorite brown people? He was like, La Parca. <laughs> I was like, All right. <laughs> La Parca, La Parca. Um, I mean, there's just the classic though too where you can't we can't even go like eddie guerrero eddie guerrero senior like i mean eddie guerrero or, senior yeah you mean gory eddie guerrero, you mean gory? Gory guerrero. <laughs> i'm thinking of the mountain goat uh, song about chavo and his uh and eddie g I'm like, Why is he eddie? yeah he brought up his sons uh in the trade eddie <laughs> uh, I mean, but yeah Oh, man, like, there's just too many. If we're, if we're going lucha, you have to think of like El Santo and Mo Mascaras. We don't talk about his nephew because he's trash. Exoticos, Exoticos too. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, so many. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. We love them all. Yeah, we do. I mean, they're, they're all important because they, they again, represent uh, people, you know, that didn't see themselves. I mean, even like for the Exoticos, like, um, Oh, oh I was God. just talking about, yeah, because um, they were at, they came to the Save Mart Center. Was it Sienna LL or was it Triple A where you took like a El, a El Mexicano yogurt bottle and you got in for free or something or discounted? Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, oh. and there was tons of uh, Pimponella. Pimponella oh. was a hit in the crowd because everyone, he, you know, if, when you're an exotico, you prey on homophobia, basically. And so yeah. that's, you know, that's your, the psychology in the ring is like, ooh, I'm going to kiss you. And they're like, ah! <laughs> it's, it's like it's a, early go- gold dust. It's, it's all early gold dust. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. So many. I remember... Oh. I remember I would, so when I first started watching wrestling or whatever, I would be like, both the new channels on like a Saturday and I'd find like CMLL and I'd be like, I don't know what they're saying because I don't speak Spanish, but I understand the wrestling in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> so I would be like, an exotic, like I figured it all out just from like. <laughs> Rudolph. Yeah, yeah. I figured, like, <laughs> they're, they're bad. You're they all get stuff. escorted by like women in bikinis yeah, to the there's, ring. Like, <laughs> there's beer ads everywhere. I'm like, oh, okay, I get this. <laughs> so rowdy in the crowd. He's like complete oh opposite of Japanese crowds. They're just like, ah, everyone's losing their mind. <laughs> it's also just represent representative of um, us as a people. A Mexican, we could, I can just see from us. Give us a little, <laughs> we have a little beer in us. We're hanging Not out. We're excited. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I mean, we 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 take it very seriously because what there were wrestlers who feared for their lives when they went to like Mexico or they went to Cuba or Puerto Rico. They're like, I'm gonna die because these people are gonna kill me. They hate me so much. <laughs> we are passionate people. We're very intense. I'm it's, sorry. It's called Latino heat for a reason. Hello. For a reason. <laughs> people say we're a cliche. Passionate. Is spicy. Yes, spicy, <laughs> passionate. Spiciest. <laughs> but yeah there's just so many there's so it's it's hard it's a hard uh to encompass all of it in one episode because there's just so many categories to go into because then you gotta there's go into YouTubers. yeah it's a whole lot. it's a whole thing it's a whole thing it's a whole thing but all of these people represent us represent all the little brown kids around the world Mm-hmm. <laughs> to see themselves and mm-hmm. we have to talk about the royal family of wrestling probably mexican latinx the guerreros yeah oh. and, and our and the second royal family Rey mysterio <laughs> well he's part of that family i feel like he is he's part. a, a he's sub family of the yeah. guerreros Sub-Mysterio. yes because they are guerreros, they are entwined forever. They are. They really are. They're in forever. It's true. Um, even <laughs> I thought Batista. I didn't know Batista was Filipino uh, for yep. a long time too. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, hell yeah, Latinos. Like, oh wait. <laughs> uh, yeah. like a, uh, it doesn't really count. It's more Asian. <laughs> It is. It's more Asian. But I think they were also, trying to pass that to the audience, like, just so low subtly key. him hanging out with, like, Eddie, you know? Listen, that happens, especially around here. A lot of Filipinos and Mexican hang out. It's fine. It's true. Good. I've been mistaken for Filipino, like, oh, you're Filipino, right? Because hey, you're, like, friends I, with them. I'm like, what? <laughs> I've also been asked if I was Filipino. And I was like, <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm not, but they I guess, okay. Most of the <laughs> people, people I know are, are, are very good looking, so yeah, sure. Thank you. I'll take, I'll take <laughs> it as a compliment. I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> cool, thanks. <laughs> they have good food. Like. Oh, yes. Pancit, lumpias. Mm, oh, my gosh. A double when I eat meat. Oh, so good. <laughs> But yes, let's talk about the royal family. The, well, this isn't a Guerrero, it's, but it used to be, it used to say Eddie Guerrero is my favorite rapper. <laughs> Cardi B is my favorite rapper. This one, <laughs> the Scarface That's inspired. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, where to begin? <laughs> so, Gory Guerrero gave us all of his sons. Mm-hmm. Hector, Mondo, Chavo Sr., Classic. Remember when he was Shabo Classic? Yes, I do. And then Eddie, <laughs> the baby. Eddie. The baby. His <laughs> mom was so sweet, oh, too. He had the cutest, so... sweetest mom. Oh, my God. My heart, my like, dang heart. She felt like an auntie. <laughs> yeah, she really did. She did. She helped. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
Yeah, the and like yeah, he was very important. Which is kind of weird. I feel like the the love for Eddie snuck up on me a little bit because I was like, mm-hmm. Eddie's good. Eddie's really good, but he's not my favorite. Eddie's awesome, but he's not my favorite. And then I was like, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> You're my favorite wrestler, Eddie. Dang. Yeah, and it, it even though he is a bad guy, he win when you over. Ooh. You know, it's like he could be a bad guy. Oh, he was so mean. bad. Oh, he remember was ruthless. Oh, when he had the blonde tips. Oh, he was. Oh. Mean. When you got your hair, blonde, he would like. He reminded me of like the hyena when he would come down to the ring, just like an evil, angry oh, hyena. Oh man. He'd be like. Oh. He had swagger, like he had hella swagger, with the mullet. With the mullet, oh man, yes. Like I said, my mom hated that era. With <laughs> with, with China, represent- bad representation. Yes, in the radicals oh. with China, winning the intercontinental title. This was all that era of Eddie, and everyone was like, "Yeah, Eddie's tight." And then Eddie ran away for a while, had some demons. Okay, happened. Came back stronger than ever, taken smack down by a storm. Yeah. I that's yeah, I remember that. Like that what two thousand two, three SmackDown? Oh mm-hmm. with Eddie On and Tina and Edge and Brock Lesnar, Ray. Damn. Yeah. It was really good. Yes. He built SmackDown. Dang. <laughs> Dang. Eddie, Ray, they built SmackDown. When they split them in they the really brand, They really did. They really like, did, though. They really did. And then did. they built Ray up, like, to be legit, like, had him biting Big Show. Do you remember when they had, it was Big Show and Ray? I don't remember what kind of match it was, or if it was a match when Big Show had Ray on the stretcher. Yes! And he, like, just smashes them. Oh my god, yeah. That was gnarly. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Or, uh, yeah. And then also, you know, like, the whole family thing with uh, uh, Dominic and Dominic. <laughs> <Eddie>. <laughs> I, want to, I want to tell you a bedtime story, Dominic. Do you remember that? Can we rewind real quick, though, to Eddie yes. and China? Yes, 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 we can. Oh is- my god. First of all, okay. He has the Eddie flowers. Has, he has the flower, the roses. <laughs> for his mama Sita. His mama Sita. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yes, I was not watching a lot at that so I had to go back and re- like watch the segments because I don't I wasn't watching at that time. But the segments were so good. Like I was such a fan of his delivery because he was comedic uh. without like really trying it seemed hey. like. Mm-mm. He's, he's just being like, like silly and goofy and just, like they just, turned him up a little. they just were like turned him up just a little bit but like just <laughs> when, he, when he would talk like China was just like it seemed like he was trying not to laugh like oh yeah <laughs> and she's like Eddie are you almost ready and he's like yeah I'm just trying to get on the couch then <laughs> the DD prom oh my god you and me at the prom oh my god <laughs> Those are so good. I really I have a lot of respect for those segments because they were they were so. Do you remember? Good. I I remember that few, Remember when she won the intercontinental title and then yes, and then he like accidentally pinned her yes. when he was yeah yes. he had like the blanket. I do. Oh my god. These were good. These were good times. Do you remember? Do you remember when she was a Playboy? <laughs> And he went to the Playboy Mansion to stop them oh, from yeah. <laughs> And he gets carted out by security. <laughs> oh man. They did a really good job with that. They that was oh, fun. so good. So good, Mama Sita. So good. Good times. Good times. That was hilarious. <laughs> it was. And then Eddie um let's see, who else? Eddie and Will Chavo. Oh, Los Guerrero. His nephew. His nephew. Oh. They had a, they, yeah, he was just so good with, uh, with oh. Chavo, too. Really brought Chavo up. Like, Chavo, you know, obviously is going to be great, but it gave Chavo that Yeah, I leveled him up. Yeah. It was so yeah. good. It was so good. And, and then, the of course, Chavo one. Classic came. What's your favorite uh, Los Guerrero skit? 
Oh, I know it is when he was like, what are they? Want to match on a burrito? <laughs> when they were the low rider and he had like a burrito and he's talking to a lady and I was like, oh my God. Or then it was like, uh, yeah, they were stealing. Was and Chavo was like, what is that, a Rolex? And he was like, I don't know. <laughs> it was such a good time. I like the one where they go and they like check the old lady's pool and then they have a pool party in the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Those were good. Those were fun. I really enjoyed those. And oh. that's when my mom liked him. That's when she was like, yeah. Um, like, but I'm like, also. She okay. got it. The sa- it's satire. It's supposed to be funny. <laughs> oh, that's man. Good the low riders. Oh. Man, so many low yeah. riders. <laughs> oh, I took a pic. I took a picture in front of the lowriders. I still have that somewhere. Um, oh my god! I I guess he he wasn't in it, but I, I was like, lowrider, because <laughs> it was on like a tow truck, and they were towing it in. I'm like, a lowrider. Here it is. <laughs> Eddie's gonna drive that tonight. <laughs> that was the day okay. I saw Brock in real life and the big show in real life, and they were massive. And I was like, oh my god! I, I wish I'd gotten to. To get like a, an, an autograph from Eddie Gray or a meet and greet or something that would have been really cool. But yeah. I was this close to meeting Eddie Guerrero. Damn. This close, literally. What happened? I mean, it was I, weirdly enough. It was 2005, so it's August. It was a few months before he died. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to. He was doing a signing at Carl's Jr. Okay. <laughs> Uh, in River Park, uh, if you're in Fresno, um, so it's like the nice one, and there was a line. I, line I've nice never, country. I've never seen a line so long. It was like so far in the whole parking lot, like it oh looked like like there was just massive people. I went with my mom and a friend of mine, and it's right before like my like uh, tenth grade starts. So it's mm-hmm. like a week or so before, and they're going to do SmackDown that night. And like he did all the press and all that. So we're in line and we're deep still in line. <sighs> like the line's still long and we're like, oh man, okay. Aww. It's been like an hour. Maybe. Yeah. And then we're, my mom was like, okay, go inside and see if you can see him. And I was like, eh, no. And she's like, just go, go inside. Like, say you have to go to the bathroom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> can I go <laughs> so to the bathroom? So I, so my mom, like my friend and I go in, we have to go to the bathroom. So we like peek in, like we're mm-hmm. going to the bathroom and I can see him. He's in like the far corner of the, the restaurant in like a, a one of the booths or something. And we're like, oh my God, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. And we go to the bathroom. We come out. And mom was like, did you see him? I was like, yeah. So I got mad. So like we had to, we had to be real quick. So like. I I literally don't know how long we're out there, but it was like a little bit. And then they're like, "Oh, he has to leave. He has to do more oh, interviews." Man. <laughs> so we're like, "Oh!" And they still caught hundreds of people there, like mm. probably like three hundred people there behind mm. us. And um, crazy, it was so many people. And I remember we're like all there, kind of. I was kind of I could see the door. Like, I'm maybe, mm-hmm. like, not too far from where I can, like, oh, so it would have been, like, another hour. I probably could have been. Yeah. And I remember he came out, and they somehow got, like, a PA system, and he, like, spoke to all of us and was, like, hey, like, it's not my decision. Like, I would totally say Aww. fine for all of you, you know, like, I love you guys. Thank you for coming out, but, like, I have to go. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I have, and I, I think I, I post them on Instagram a lot, but, um, yeah, my mom had like the disposable camera pictures of, yeah. of him. <laughs> and, like, but the the thing I remember is he's walking to like where he's gonna stop and talk to everybody, and we're pretty close. That's why I could see him. I was in his presence once, <laughs> but like the crowd like mobbed him, and there was a kid, and the kid fell like right in front of Eddie, Aww. and like he like stops and like picks the little kid up, and is like, "Are you okay?" and like. Which is super kind to that kid. I was just like, oh, look at him. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, cool. yeah, I was, I was like 16, and I was just mm-hmm. like, oh my god, like, <laughs> <laughs> I care so much. <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was crazy. That was the closest I ever got. 
<laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and then cool. the the weird thing is the day he died. My mom and I went out of town to see like an old like mm-hmm. patient or something of hers. We're up north and um, we're on the way home or we were going to leave and we we're like, oh, let's just go to Target. We need something. It was this huge yeah. Target. It was like a two story Target. It was real fancy. Whoa, I've never right? even heard of that. It was crazy. So we're like, what? So we go <laughs> we're just walking around and I found the toy section and naturally I was like, I'm going to go to the wrestling section. And I remember mm-hmm. seeing they had maybe like a three foot thing of Eddie what and I was like oh it's so cool it's so cool she's like yeah like my mom's like yeah it's really cool hey we can get it we can wait we can wait I was like yeah we can wait till we you know we'll see it again so then I go home so then I go home this is 2005 so it's all my space and it's all I have to be in front of the computer to be on my phone right right so I've been gone out of town for two days so then I Go on, log into my MySpace, and the first thing I see is that Eddie's gone. No. I was, I was like, what? Like, yeah. I was like, like, is it is this real? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, yeah. we, saw, we saw his toy, and we're going to get it. Like, no, yeah. no. Like, I saw him on SmackDown. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. yeah. That, that, was was hard. Hard. that was hard. I was bawling for days. Yeah. I wore this shirt to school the next day because I was just messed up. And I remember crying and being like, his kids. Like, yeah. Oh his daughters. Uh, yeah. Do you remember that day? I do. I do. I remember when I got the news and I was just like, for real though? Like, really? But I, it, didn't, it wasn't like so unbelievable. Like, that's not good. <laughs> that's not okay I don't like that I don't like that news you know like <laughs> it was hard yeah it was I definitely yeah uh, shed a lot of tears for him too it's really sad to have lost Eddie it's like really though because he wasn't like an old man you know like it was really hard to believe that he would just die yeah um, he seemed okay but that's kind of just how it goes you know I guess we don't know how his heart was or what was going on with him, but yeah, it was really devastating. I was really, really That's sad right. to find yeah. out. It was depressing, especially yeah. when they started having the tribute because I had oh. we had recorded it on like VHS. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, why am I? Why would I even want to watch this again? It was so heartbreaking. Like I, I wouldn't be able to watch it again. No, I did. I record it. I might have. But yeah, oof, I remember that, that tribute as yeah. well. Oh, that tribute was so rough. And uh, then you revisit it too um, in like that Vice documentary about Benoit. Because it, it first, co- it covers that, you know, like oh. right away. And like, that was hard. I was like, fuck, I remember that. And I remember all the like, the vignettes and the stories that like you were hearing from mom and brothers. And it was so sad. I was like, this is so sad. It was such a loss. It was such a loss. Just felt like your family. He just yeah. felt like, his, and not just because he could have been like an uncle to us. <laughs> yeah, I think we all saw our, like a bit of our family in him. Like that's like crazy <laughs> to you, <laughs> right? Yeah. Those Guerreros, yeah. they're like us. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. But that was rough. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really rough time to have lost Eddie Guerrero. That that was really and, sad. And then do you remember then that's when Ray won the title mm-hmm. at that WrestleMania? Oh my God, so <laughs> emotional! It was too much. Yeah, it was. And then he came. Do you, uh, was it Royal Rumble? He came out in the low rider. Yeah. Oh God. My heart. <laughs> You're killing me, man! You're killing me. But, oh my God. But, <laughs> As sad as all of it was, who? What a surprise that came out of that, which was Vicky Excuse Guerrero. Me? Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> he, I was so happy, like to have a. It's kind of like having a piece of Eddie because you know that he would have been so, like, proud of her. Dying. <laughs> Just like, yeah, like hysterical. It, yeah. <laughs> 
I was like, I mean, man, Jamie Noble and Vicky Guerrero. Oh my <laughs> that, God. That was just, that, I, that, that was, I love, that was chef. Oh my God. Food. When he gave her that VHS tape of his highlights with the special at the end. It's like, <laughs> Vicky Guerrero, I got a highlight to reel for you. And I'm like, DM Punk was like, VHS, vintage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's just a classic memory for me because Vicky was like, what? <laughs> oh, Vicky. I love Vicky. Yeah. Special yeah. place for Vicky. That was such a surprise. Vicky had her own stable for a minute. Remember La Familia? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just remember her being Vicky. in the wheelchair. <laughs> I don't remember so why she was in the wheelchair. I don't remember either. Um, who hurt her? I don't remember. She in the wheelchair. I don't, she was in that wheelchair for a long time when she was yeah. running SmackDown. Oh my! But that God. was such a that was so fun though, like to see Vicky Guerrero as a character, just like as a part of the story. You didn't think that when you saw her as just like hanging out, like no, Eddie, this was wrong, like holding the just holding the ladder to stop him from winning. Uh-huh. The- SummerSlam. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. It was like a minor role. Nothing. Who would have ever thought she would even put like on tights and boots and lace up and go into the ring too? Like you would just have never thought that that I was, that. Do you remember <laughs> that that, that WrestleMania when Lay Cool holding her and then she did the little <laughs> shimmy and I was like, no, Vicky, don't do it. But also, don't do it. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Shawl will never, um, never, well, you know, I mean, just because your, your parents, you know, it's hard, that's a big shadow to stand in, you know? Yeah. She has, like, a lot of character. I've, I've seen, like, clips of, like, her FCW, mm-hmm. NXT thing, but she's, like, a really good, like, um, ring announcer. They had her out, remember, for um, AEW a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, and she loves wrestling. I've seen some interviews with her, and she loves it. But yeah. she also has a lot of other interests, which is cool. Yeah. 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 Dang. She's married to a wrestler. Uh, yes. I, yep. He's a Guerrero. He's a Guerrero. He is a Guerrero. He's a Guerrero adjacent, yeah. <laughs> He's in the tree. <laughs> like, can I take, can I take yours? <laughs> sure, oh <my> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he should have wrestled as Aiden Guerrero. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. He could have tried. People would have been like, all right. <laughs> That's too far, bro. Too far. You're... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We get, we get it. You married. I'd be and like then... Triple H changing his name to McMahon. Oof. Oof. <laughs> but Ray is anyway, still. you were gonna Ray's say. still out there. Ray's doing it. He's better. Than yep. Nobody. Putting that next generation out alone? there too. Ray has been like the spotlight this like entire pandemic. <laughs> yeah like and then also like how like full circle is it that like Dominic's first match was at SummerSlam where it was for which was the type pay-per-view they fought for him oh custody of Dominic you love your uncle Eddie oh, yeah, I, I love, love your buddy yeah. Yeah, I know cute. <laughs> he's a little baby yeah. And now he's like, oh, oh, look at him. I know, that's crazy. I mean, it was bound to happen. We knew it. It was a matter of time. Yeah. Because Eddie, or, uh, I mean, what? Well, yeah, Eddie had been wrestling since he was a little kid. Said the family. Yeah. Ray had been wrestling since he was a little kid. So, because in the family. <laughs> of course. I mean, you know, in the family. They, of course they're going to do it. He's doing well. He's, you know, he's still new. Mm-hmm. But he's doing really good, yeah. holding mm-hmm. his own. Mm-hmm. I think it helps that he's in there with Seth and Murphy and the first, when I saw him do that, that frog splash though, I was like, <gasps> I started crying. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I was like, oh, he did a frog splash. Like, uh. That's cool. Oh my gosh. So like okay, there's there's a lot of young new wrestlers that aren't even in like in the big leagues yet, right? Like 
there's some indie wrestlers too. There was these two girls. They were like a tag team. They were called the Something Stars or something like that. I don't remember what they were called, but they were really fun. I was like excited because they were young, like Latino wrestlers. I was like, oh, oh. this could be cool. I'm excited. Oh, oh, I can't this is this is like about five years ago, maybe. Um, but yeah, I was really excited about them, and then I kind of lost track of what they were up to. I don't think I ended up following them on Twitter or anything. That's really just how you keep up with wrestlers and what they're up to. Yeah, when Especially it's like, like, like if you're if you're it, yeah for independent wrestlers at least, it's like that's the way you're gonna know about them if you're not watching all the all of the shows. All the shows. So many you follow shows. them so they can share their clips of themselves and be like, "That was sick." <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is now, I think. True. Are there any up and comers that you're excited about, like in you know the Latinx community? I don't know that you are looking forward to. I don't. I, I don't know any yet, unless I'm like, they're just. I just don't know if they are, which is good. I just want you to wrestle. I want to be by your talent, and then I'm gonna yeah. find out if you're one of us. <laughs> yeah, like like Lisa. Right, Lisa? Lisa Lace. Lisa Lace, our girl. <laughs> I, I want to say, yeah, like support. I think Jake Atlas is, he might be. Is he one of ours? If not, I'm going to just take him. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, he is. So those are definitely some. He's an angel yeah. baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's like a. <laughs> I love him so much. He's so sparkly. He's so sparkly. He deserves everything. <laughs> he, was he was fighting Champa the other week. Oh my gosh, I know. I saw that. <sighs> Little baby angel. Coming up. It takes time. Nothing happens so quickly all the time. Like it doesn't happen overnight for everybody. So but hard also, work and determination. I also love how like Ray and Eddie inspire a lot of women. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is true. Which, like, which every, is always a surprise, and they're like, uh, "What got you into wrestling?" Like, oh, I'm I'm a huge fan of Eddie Guerrero. Like, uh, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> what? Like, Sasha Banks, Peyton Royce, like, mm-hmm. um, that they love. I think Peyton Royce has like a rose tattoo for Eddie. Dang. EO does a six one nine. Like, mm-hmm. it's crazy how like all of these men inspire these women mm-hmm. and like I I feel like I mean of course I hear men do it but I feel like it's mostly women who are like my favorite wrestler is Eddie Guerrero <laughs> or my favorite Ray Mysterio yeah yeah no you're right <laughs> it is weird because they don't shoot like it's either gonna be that or it's gonna be um uh, like Trish or Alita but you also have the group who are like, oh, yeah, Eddie Guerrero. And maybe because of the agility, like, they're so agile. They're not, like, big monsters. Um, because how is a girl going to be inspired by a monster? I don't know. But when they see someone who's, like, agile can, like, run laps around you, like, I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> that makes sense. Since most Although of there my are some lady are monsters. There are yeah. some lady monsters. But, there you know, everyone monsters. calls me out for not liking a, a lot of bigger dudes. But you know what? That makes a lot of sense. I'm a small human. Mm-hmm. I like to see yeah, other you small Yeah, you identify people. more with it. A vertically challenged person. <laughs> I like small, sparkly humans. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> with fringe, you like fringe too. Love a fringe. Love a fringe. Love a sparkle. <laughs> I like anything kooky. Oh, man. <laughs> a bit, except a big person with a personality. Big E, that's my dude. Evil, even yeah. though he's my dude. But I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. But they, <laughs> yeah, to kind of bring it back to Eddie and Ray, they were but definitely like, like these huge milestones in like the culture. Where if you're gonna, if they're going to California, Arizona, or Texas, oof. those audiences are gonna be fire. Like it's you knew it was gonna be wild for for SmackDown, basically. <laughs> it was. Because yeah. you know what, I also think they put them on SmackDown because remember SmackDown was on UPN, which yeah. wasn't cable, so more people yeah. who didn't have cable could watch that one. That's pretty much what it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had cable, but I'm saying. Yeah, I, I watched it on UPN. Yeah, yeah, that was a good time when it was on UPN. Yeah, it wasn't about it. 
Was it a red hair? Was it with the fist on the outside? Yes, the fist. The fist, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of like Andrade. I was like, wow, that's a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've probably gone on for a pretty long time, don't you think? Probably. I'm sorry. We just, yeah. we're just very passionate. Again, we're, it's a cliche, but we are. I, oh, wait. Before True. we close this out, I want to I wanna show something. I want to see oh, it. Man. What is it? <gasps> Confetti from Eddie? Mm-hmm. So oh this bag, God. I've, oh, that's I've, awesome. I've had this bag since it says uh, February seventeenth, two thousand four. Actually, this was the what? original bag. That's so it. cool. Uh, but yeah, so this is two days after he won at No Way Out. Shut up! <laughs> Celebration. The, the confetti. Do you just and grab then, it, grab a bunch of it, put it? I did. When we left, I was like, Dad, just stick it in. Like, <laughs> grab, like, of my bag That's of merch. Cool. <laughs> um, so the oh, section cool. I was in, yeah, the section I was in, I was on the opposite end of that where he came out. When he walked down, mm-hmm. I was on the other end. Mm-hmm. And my dad was like, go over there, go over there. And I was like, mm I can't. No. <laughs> Now I would have, but like at 14, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, you're like, st- you're still a kid. That's okay. Dang, that's so cool. What a, what a nice souvenir to have. Yeah, I've, I've had this. This is, this is my like, if a fire happened, I would just. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> handed down to generations. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this is a, this is. <laughs> when they're reading your will. I want you all to sprinkle this on my. <laughs> I want you to. They all get like a little, uh, a little cake. Yeah. No, I want you to sprinkle this over my casket. You know when you're lowering me into the ground. I don't want dirt. I want this confetti. I want that first. I want the confetti. That's it. Dang. That's awesome. That? That's so cool. You that show? Did you end up going to that show? No, I didn't. Oh, mm-hmm. no. I know. I yeah, I, I mean, I, I went to as many as I could, I guess. Like, financially, it's kind of tough sometimes. You're like, oh, t- tickets are cheap, but if you don't have even you know, a little real. bit, you know, like, well, I was like, I was like, <laughs> <a kid>, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, mom, can I go? <laughs> can I go? Can I take it easy? And my dad took me, and I remember, I, I I just remember being, like, that building with, like, the confetti coming down, and how loud it was. Selen, was it Selen Arena or Save Mart? It's Save Mart. It was, it's, oh. Save Mart was pretty new, probably, like, a year old or something, that building, when, okay. when they did it. Okay, that's so cool. And I was just, like, whoa, like the fireworks and the whole celebration and you didn't know I didn't know it was gonna be iconic now every picture of Eddie with the title is from this show so. dang that's so cool I've never heard it so loud <gasps> oh, yeah maybe yeah. maybe when we went to double or nothing but like here in town I've never heard anything like that <laughs> yeah dang that's so cool he was important he was really really important Mhm. Brave and important. Yeah. That Halloween Havoc match I just rewatched I mean, it. it. Oh my gosh! I know you were yeah. saying <laughs> so good. But yeah. And like so, Ray is, it, it, he just kind of represents for little kids, like for little kids. Really, they see him, and he's he is a superhero in their eyes. Yeah. Like he he's, he's so loved. There's that little boy like, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love Ray Mysterio. Yeah, it, 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 the, yeah, yeah. I mean, only rivaled by Cena, maybe, with the kids. Like, true, true. The kids just and love Ray. I was, he's probably, he's definitely the most popular luchador of all time. Yeah, yeah. You know. Booyaka, booyaka. 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 That's the only reason why I know that's the area code for San Diego because of Ray Mysterio. Oh my God, that <laughs> helped me. I am not kidding. That helped me one time. I was in San Diego really? at the zoo and we had to call a cab. This is how old I am. We were trying to hail a cab and I remember there got work. 
on a payphone, and they're like, I was with a family friend, and they're like, what's the area code to uh, San Diego? And I was like, 619! Boyaka, boyaka, 619! They say you don't learn things from wrestling, but I learned that. Well, guess what? (laughs) (laughs) Hilarious. I was always like, what does Booyaka mean? Huh. <laughs> Remember when he got booed for doing the 619 at One Night Stand? Yes. They didn't want no WWE stuff there. No, 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 no don't bring your hokey stuff. But it wasn't hokey. It's a Saint Tiger. Wait, what's it called? Saint Tiger Tiger Kick? I don't know. That's good. That's good. What is Mar- 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 like- Saint Tiger Kick or something? I don't know. And now um, he's doing it with Dominic, and apparently. Dominic's left-handed, so when they do it both in tangent, it's cute. It works. It works. Cute. Right, we could go on this tangent about how much. I know we, we could go on forever. Eddie, I'm like and, tired. I just, I just love it. There's so much representation and so much. Yeah. <laughs> there's been a lot of bad, but a lot of good. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. With everything. With everything. I mean, I, you know, Mexican culture is flawed in itself, too. There's anti-blackness, there's homophobia. I mean, you know, it, 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 it's not perfect. It definitely needs a lot of work. Um, even when people you think, like, are going to be cool, they end up being, like, really homophobic. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> what? Um, <Excuse>? Yeah. <laughs> and it, it's, oh. like, you know, we're, it's not a perfect uh, at all but we're not but as a brown person when you're a little kid and you see a Rey Mysterio or an Eddie Guerrero or a Molina and you go dang that I could do that I could do that I could do that and people want it because I like seeing it (laughs) you know yes (laughs) so good so fun I'm glad you came up with the idea to do the show. I really, I didn't know it was going to be this long, but yeah, I'm sorry it's so because... long. <laughs> no, but it, it, it got feelings about it. We got a lot of feelings about it. And I mean, it, it's probably the reason maybe I watched wrestling as much as I did. Like, I could have lost interest in it, but th- there were things that happened that were really like, um, transformative for me in my opinion of it like like Mike Austin and Masato Tanaka but then there's also the representation too and seeing like the Bellas um I'm like oh sure I mean yeah it's cheesecakey but yeah. at least there's they're there um, yeah and then AJ came and you're like oh she's like a little little badass oh, okay she's like Avril Lavigne of wrestling oh no <laughs> <Latina>. oh no <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how I view because I read that around that time Avril Lavigne was like pretty big with the it was if anybody it was I loved that tomorrow. okay per, okay yeah you're right okay you're right okay, she, rest she did have her lace up like check and that was yeah. cute that was cute she that had a little lace up check that was cute she had a look she had a thing um and then Melina too I was like what oh, what a badass she's so good so bendy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but um yeah that's probably you know what really kept me interested too and there was a small period where I was watching you know lucha but then I was like coming back into WWE and and then yeah. you know more recently like with indies and stuff and so you know there's representation is important it is. I would say. And I'm glad, <laughs> glad we have a lot of it I'm glad okay. And I think that's also not to be like toot my own horn, but I think that's also why we decided, hey, let's make a podcast. There's not enough women, Latinx people. I'm not saying we yeah. can't. Just saying there's not a lot of people. Yeah. Like us. So, yeah. Not, yeah, it's true. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah, and I really don't even know, like, uh, if we were set up to be like oh you should hang out with Al because she really likes that like, I don't think that ever happened it just sort of happened naturally it was like oh we let's just, talk about wrestling <laughs> we were just magnets and we're like <laughs> yeah. yes hmm. and it was stepbrothers it was like did we just we'll go off in our own conversation did you yeah did we just become friends <laughs> oh. and then we were just in the yep. corner and everyone would just look at us like <laughs> talking so passionately about something yeah yeah I'm glad I'm glad that we've made this yeah that's us 
<laughs> that's us. Uh, because yeah, it is important. Um, like you said, you see a lot of uh, men, uh, a lot of white dudes. Um, or just dudes in general, very heteronormative, you know, and, and, and it's nice to kind of um, talk to people who are uh, like you identify with more and talk about wrestling that way, you know. So We're it's inclusive, fun. but also it's nice to have someone with a similar background. Yeah, yeah. It understands why and I feel like. We've had a lot of fun like meeting new people too, like. So many people. Um, so many people and, and making new friends and can and just like uh bridging those little gaps that you know we're all we're all part of this little community and it's like oh you do you, whoop. <laughs> and that's what happens and, though and we just meet other people and we're like oh, it's just it's magnet it's magnet. Magnet. We're we're all- <laughs> yeah. yeah come here come here come here that's fun i like us yeah <laughs> so in conclusion if we, you uh, thing, thank you. <laughs> yeah, if you're still listening, thank you for hanging in there. Um, and uh, let us know. Uh, we're we're gonna put this on Instagram and, and um, Twitter, and uh, you know, hey, new episode up. Let yep. us know who your favorite, uh, yes. you know, Latinx. Um, yeah, we, or in the comments on YouTube if you're here. I know we missed a lot. I'm sorry. There is a yeah. very long Vampiro! <laughs> Vampiro! I remembered his name, Vampiro. Yes. I was like, somebody I do. come correct me and tell me the Vampiro. I'm like, what? I, I, I knew he was somebody who was scary. Him and Conan. <laughs> Conan! Oh, Conan? Vampiro? Vampiro, Conan, and E. Kingston. They will fuck you up. They are all scary, oh, scary oh, men. For real, for real, for real. When, and I respect when, them. <laughs> Tremendously. I mean, I didn't. I didn't know that I cared so much about Conan until I saw him and he was uh, escorting LAX and I was like, oh, fuck, Conan. Oh, I remember you said yeah. Conan. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, it was, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to react that way to, like, Conan, like, oh, my God, it's Conan. It's weird how that happens with people where you're just like, oh. You're taking it back. Know. Yeah. You're taking, I didn't know I saw that person is important. You. That, per- that person is very important. <laughs> I- there's a new, there's a Conan documentary out, and I want us to watch it. I don't know what it's on, Let's watch but it. I thought we should watch it. I don't I know what it's should. on. I'll find out what it is, where it is. But. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Ooh, that would be fun. <laughs> there's a lot I don't know. A Conan is very just like, a, he's Conan. You yeah. have to respect him. But I don't know where he started. I, I, I need to see this because I want to know his origins. I want to know where he came up from. I want to know about him. So, yeah, well, let's, let's do that. Listen, I don't know a lot. <laughs> I'm willing to learn, and I want to learn. And Me maybe too. there'll be a part, another episode where, like I told you, I fell down that Lucha Libre rabbit hole, and maybe one day <laughs> I'll educate everybody when I get educated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's do it. Maybe we'll talk about Lucha Libre action films from Mexico. Yeah. Because those look fun. <laughs> they do. They do look fun. I need subtitles because I don't know Spanish. <laughs> I'll be like, that was too fast for me. I, I don't know what they said. I, I, I got like a couple of words out of that. I, think uh, I don't know all of it. I'll get the job. <laughs> I think a foot was mentioned. There's like a foot mention. Got that. I got it. I got it. I know what that is. Got it. What got it. Got it. Like, what about it, though? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. Okay. okay. So, Sorry. We're, we're really excited. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, you can find me on Twitter um, at Daspansy, D-A-S-P-T-A-N-S-Y. Um, and yeah, where can we find you at? Find me at Twitter and Instagram at KSABEOW. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff at Queens. And we'll be back soon. Bye. Yay. Bye. Thank you for listening.